Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your love reading. Please remember, as always, this is a general reading and it may not resonate with all of you out there. Uh, everything else is in the description box. Um, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. You can check out your other signs uh, for more guidance and messages. There is a playlist link below. Personal readings. Right now I'm uh, booked about a week out. Uh, there is uh, links below for my website. You can check out the info, but please uh, email me before making any type of payment uh, for scheduling. Uh, my giveaway, I do do a monthly giveaway if you'd like to enter. Details are below. And then lastly, I do have a new channel called uh, Heal to Love 333. It is a meditation a uh, healing and manifestation channel. I've included popular links below for opening up the chakras, clearing blockages. I've incorporated Reiki healing in the videos as well. Uh, this is to help you uh, manifest love and abundance in your life. And then lastly, there is a new link below for uh, manifesting and attracting your true love. So check that out if you like. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. I do appreciate all of your support. And let's get started with your reading. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo in love? Let's get three cards. All right, look at that. First card up, you have the two of cups. You have the six of cups. And you have the Knight of Swords. Let's see what you got here. The King of Pentacles. The Temperance card. I hear I'm hearing like you met your match, okay, in the per in the past, okay. <laughs> and you have the Death card. So you have strong uh, Sagittarius, strong Scorpio. Ooh, bottom of the deck here. You have the Ten of Swords. All right, what's going on here, Virgo? Ten of Swords energy. You know, uh, Taurus also got Ten of Swords on the bottom of their deck, too. Okay. Let's see what's below that. Very interesting. You have the Strength card and you have the Ten of Swords. So I feel there's something coming to an end here, okay? Something I feel at one point it was very hurtful, but you've gotten past it. It's showing me here your strength has got you through the situation. You could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, you also have the Three of Wands. So there may be a situation right now you're trying to be strong, maybe even holding back your feelings or emotions in a situation. But I feel like either you're waiting for something here or you're... you're exploring other opportunities in your situation so let's uh, go through this you have the two of cups and you have the uh, king of pentacles in your recent past and i feel here this is an energy here like i said I feel there's somebody here that you met um or you were with that you felt was your match okay you had a very strong connection here uh you felt like things were uh pretty stable okay could be dealing um with a cancer a scorpio or a pisces uh we'll clarify as well you have the six of cups and you have the temperance card so this is in your current energy i feel like you're going through a period of healing okay trying to gain balance in the situation i feel like you have a lot of memories this person or you're thinking about this person Okay, thinking about this past. I feel like this could even be somebody that you knew in your childhood or your younger years as well. Uh, as I said, could be a Sagittarius. And then in your near future, you have the Death card and you have the Knight of Swords. So I do get here, there may be a transformation in the situation, a possible new beginning. 
I feel like this person is going to come towards you with some sort of communication. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Now, this also can be a new person coming towards you as well. So we're going to clarify, see what else uh, comes up. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles here? So you have the Nine of Cups. Oh, so something changed in your situation. You have the Justice card, could be dealing with a Libra. And the Hermit could be dealing uh, with, or actually, that you are a Virgo there. And you have the Faith card. Hmm. Something changed in your situation uh, where I feel like you felt like you weren't treated right. There was something unfair about it, or it can be that this person could have been married, could have been dealing with somebody. Uh, the King of Pentacles can definitely be somebody who was already, uh, you know, could be in a marriage. This also can be somebody that you divorced uh, in the past, okay? But I feel like you're still hopeful. Okay, you have the faith card here, you know, keeping the faith here. Okay, um, you have the six of coin. I feel like you're hopeful that they'll reach out to you, all right, or they'll want to rekindle this because you also have the ace of wands as well, okay, and uh, the ace of swords, a new start, and you have the three of wands. I really feel, Virgo, this is an energy here, where I feel like you're really hoping to hear from someone, somebody that you feel is your match or somebody um, that you have a very strong connection with, okay, clarifying, actually, I already read those, six of cups and the temperance. Uh, let's clarify the six of cups and the temperance card. I'm also getting here too that in the past, maybe it wasn't the right timing. Okay. Uh, I feel you could have divine timing at work here. So let's uh, clarify why is the six of cups and the temperance card here, please. Okay. You have the eight of cups. You have the wheel. And you have the three of cups and bottom of the deck here you have the king of cups so you've got water energy here cancer scorpio pisces let's see here eight of cups the wheel and the three of cups Yeah, I feel, you know, I feel like this is somebody in your past that that either you walked away from this person or they walked away from you. Um, I get here that definitely could have been a third party situation. There was some sort of destiny at play here. I feel what it, for whatever reason, uh, this wasn't a balanced there was something unbalanced or there was a change here that made the situation become unbalanced. Okay. Um, and I, I, I definitely got here. There could have been another person involved or interference here. Multiple people in the situation. Like I said, you could have been dealing with somebody who was married as well. Uh, let's clarify uh, the Knight of Swords and the Death card, please. Okay, you have the Empress, you have the Hanging Man, and you have the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Judgment. Yeah, this person's returning. This person is coming back around. You're manifesting of this as the Empress. Okay. I feel like they're feeling here, you know, they're definitely seeing you as somebody, um, I feel, very abundant, very beautiful, very, um, just somebody who's very nurturing and kind. You may be the mother of this person's child. You have the hanging man. I feel like there was karma between the two of you, okay? This can be releasing karma, okay? And that might be the transformation here. There may have been something here that the two of you needed to learn here that's why the the timing may not have been right 
but I feel like you're manifesting um, this person coming towards you. They're seeing you differently. I feel like they're seeing you in a different light than maybe they saw you in before. Um, you have the three of wands here. So what you're, you, you're waiting for, if you're wanting this person to return, I do see that they are, are returning. They're coming in with communication. So I feel this could happen within the next three weeks, even as early as three days. Uh, I know that some of you may not want to reconcile with this person. Uh, so I'm also going to pull what's coming in for new love. Because with this three of wands, you could also have more than one opportunity here. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what's coming in for new love for Virgo? Let's get three cards. You have the two of wands. You have the chariot, strong cancer energy. Oh gosh, and you have the Ten of Swords again, and bottom of the deck here you have the Three of Cups. All right. I feel some of you, there was a third party situation that some of you are not going to be able to get past, uh, which oh, I totally get that, uh, because I feel like it was too hurtful, it was too painful. You have uh, the Two of Wands and the Chariot. I feel like you're making the decision whether to move forward from this connection or not, because I just feel it was too painful for you. And uh, some of you may not want to reconcile with this person. Okay, so there's that crossroad energy. And also I'm getting here too, you're not too sure what this person's intentions are going to be. Okay, even if they return, which I do feel like they're going to, you're going to receive some sort of communication from them. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what else can you tell Virgo about new love coming in? Okay, you have the Ten of Cups. You have the Eight of Wands. Look at that. Yeah, you do have new love coming in, Virgo. Something I feel with the Six of Pentacles is going to be more balanced. Somebody who's going to put in more of a dedicated effort is what I'm hearing. You have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands. And look at that. You have the Ace of Cups. They're telling you here you're going to need to be a little bit patient. Uh, but there is somebody that is coming towards you. Now, this person could be somebody who lives at a bit of a distance from you, or you may meet this person uh, while traveling. Uh, very strong uh, water energy, so it could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, but also getting a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. So I feel like if you make the decision to move on from this person, Okay, that's when this new love is going to come in. Okay, so very nice energy. Let's pull some guidance cards from uh, Wisdom of the Oracle. See what guidance messages there is for you, Virgo. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo uh, in love? Look at that. Clean it up. This card's been, you know, the same card came out for Taurus. If you have Taurus in your chart, I feel like it's a similar, similar energies here. Uh, I feel like this is about you um, overcoming the obstacles of the past. Also, you know, some of you are going to want to move on from this past person. Okay. Feeling like, uh, you know, it's kind of old. It's kind of dusty. Um, some of you may not want to revive it. Okay, that's what I'm getting. There may have been too many challenges in the past, or maybe it's just, you know, just too challenging. There's something about it that is challenging. Look at that. Go the distance, right? Number 47, which is 11, okay? Coming the, to the end of a cycle, I feel a new beginning here. It's kind of like this chariot uh, energy moving forward, moving forward towards the new. Not exactly sure where you're going, all right, uh, but you've made the decision to move forward. Let's see what other message we have for Virgo. Look at that message in a bottle. Okay, definitely some sort of message of good news. I said too that I feel this new person could be somebody at a distance, and I see this as energy as somebody too. Somebody you could meet. You could even meet this person at the beach or someplace where there is water. I'm getting the energy too. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Getting the energy, you may live in a more of a place where there's a drier environment or 
uh, a desert environment and you actually meet this person someplace could be at a pool could be uh, at the beach or a lake or something like that interesting okay got all that glitters is not gold so I feel, you know, this is part of that energy here. It's falling right here with your two of wands energy. You may have been, felt that this person was your match, okay? I said that in the beginning. And it turned out that they weren't who you thought they were, okay? This is somebody who wasn't uh, being their true self, okay? They weren't being their authentic self is what I'm getting. Let's get one more message for Virgo. I was going to pull that card, but I wanted to cut the cards here. Okay, a leg up. All right, I take this as you're, you're being, uh, how should I say this? You're being elevated to the next level. I feel this new person coming in for you is going to be a step above uh, this other person that you were with. And it's always your choice. It's your free will, and you're, you're going to make the decision that's best for you but I feel if you get that motivation to move forward you're being elevated here okay you're being elevated the, the universe is bringing you a gift here a new love okay uh, somebody I feel here that is going to love you unconditionally and look here at the bottom of the deck Curia of Unfinished Symphony all right so that's that decision here I feel like you're closing out a chapter in your life and I feel there's something very nice coming in for you, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Virgo. Again, details are below if you want to check out my new channel or enter my giveaway. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.